What's up everybody, my name is Phil and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. So in today's video, we're working on this Dodge Challenger Mopar Edition. All right guys, so let's look at the vehicle. It is an awesome black metallic uh, paint and it's the Mopar 2010 uh, version. And this thing is pretty awesome. It is a beefy car, but it definitely needs to be cleaned up. So let's take a look at what we're working with with the outside and the inside. So here's the condition of the exterior. Yeah, pretty bad. Kind of hazy looking, really dirty. The wheels are definitely in pretty, uh, pretty bad shape, so they need to be cleaned up. And we're going to polish those lightly, make them look nicer. And this thing's pretty awesome. It actually has real hood pins here. We're going to see what we can do about the paint that's on here. Uh, I have some options for that. And overall, it's just really dirty and no more gloss to it so we're going to use uh, lithium seal and squeal and give it a nice polish and uh, seal it as well some light scuff marks here some scuff marks in the back here also and the interior it definitely uh, needs to be cleaned really well so carpets are kind of gross the leather needs to be deep cleaned and conditioned and it's a smoker vehicle so there's some ash and stuff to take care of uh, as well so yeah you can see the carpets here they're pretty pretty dingy so we're going to shampoo those make those look nice at least the back seat here the back seat here is not too bad i'm going to pull it out so we can get a better look at it in fact, let's pull it out right now.
Oh, really? Carpets are going to clean up beautifully. Oh yeah, this guy chose us because of YouTube.
interior is done. So it is looking really nice and fresh in there. Oh, that's so nice. So all the ash and nastiness is gone. It's all cleaned up. We used lithium hide rehab on the leather, 303 on everything else, but it just really brings the leather back. Oh, it's so nice. Now you can see it's actually a blue stitching here in the leather. Really nice touch. It looks beautiful now. All right, and it even smells better. But what we're going to do is just spritz a little bit of Dr. Beasley's NutriScent. So this is an odor eliminator. It does have a very light scent of its own, but I found that it dissipates really quickly. I put this in my own vehicle, and at first I smell it a little bit when I first apply it, and then it dissipates and I don't smell anything. So we're gonna spritz that inside on the headliner and on the carpet. So I spritzed it all in there. All right, so that should sit. Hopefully uh, smell a little bit fresher. Oh, that's better. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit in there. We're gonna work on the paint. Now, I'm probably gonna go overboard a little bit here because, well, this paint is just horrible. This is really, this is our diamond service, so it's supposed to be just a regular polishing wax that I put on there. I used the Meguiar's D301 finishing wax, but I'm gonna go a little bit further. So I'm gonna use lithium sealant squeal, which is their polish and sealant, and I'm going to use the SPTA yellow pad, which is kind of a uh, medium pad designed for polish and all-in-one, and, uh, and my Rupes machine, and we're gonna gloss this thing up. So guys, the yellow pad was just a little bit too aggressive, so I switched to a blue pad, and uh, this is a little bit more gentle. So this is not really a paint enhancement, it's not a one step, really. I'm just going a little bit extra and using a better product to get a better result. And it's paying off, it's looking great, but the yellow pad was just a little bit too aggressive, and it was actually cutting a little bit more. but with the speed that I'm going, it also left behind some of its own marks. So switch to a softer pad, much better. It's still getting the gloss, but it's not leaving any weird marks behind. So, oh yeah, looking way better.
So with these, we're going to try something because these just look ugly. I really can't even peel them. Yeah, and they're stuck on there. I wish I could, I wish I can take them off, but I can't. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use some Plasti Dip and we're going to make these look better possibly two to three coats, light coats. I have this awesome masking tape stuff, so I will mask around it and I'll show you how I do it and why I do it that way and kind of mask the rest, you know, with the plastic around here because this stuff can overspray a little bit, but we're gonna keep it controlled. So let me show you how I mask around this. So usually with Plasti Dip, it's pretty forgiving and you can rough tape around things without being too precise but i do have a nice little lip underneath here so i'm going to tuck the tape right underneath it i was going to kind of rough tape around it loosely because you can do that with plasti dip but since i have the lip right under here i'm just going to tape right underneath it and tuck the tape underneath It'll just make for easier cleanup. All right. Now with this stuff, this is really cool, I love this. I am going to start here. Going around in a circle is really difficult and it's just going to bunch the plastic up. So let's do that. Stretch the plastic out. Wow, it actually goes like five feet or so, which is really nice. So a kind of rough cut there and kind of overlap. We'll take another section here and overlap. Cutting this first helps. like so. If you need to use a little bit more tape around here, then you might need to do that. Drape it this way. And drape the plastic over here. And then I have the plastic over here. And then I can overlap this plastic like so. All right, we're taped up. We're looking good. Tape down any of these little edges here. Now I'm going to clean this area with some wax and tar remover. And I'm also going to tape off this because this does not need to be painted. All right. So let's do the other one like that. Okay, now we're done. I know. It's actually a lot more annoying than it looks. It's just annoying because I want to be able to cover as much area as possible here, like a good two feet in every direction, um, just because of, you know, minor overspray. Now, overspray will be removed. It can be removed really, really easily, but I just want to minimize that. So I'll even use a towel when I'm spraying uh, to minimize any type of overspray. So. They are wrapped up. Oh, I gotta put the uh, little tip on that. But basically I'll wrap that up, prep it, and then we'll start plasti dipping. So we're going to go with the first one here. Shake up your can. I have a little piece of cardboard here that I'm gonna use as a shield as I go around. Just extra precaution. Once you have it shaken up, just do a test spot. Oh, look at that. Nope. I think this head has died. All right, had to get a new can out. All right, nice pattern. There we go. So. That's it. One light coat, let it dry. So we're gonna use some Dr. Beasley's tire conditioner. Give it a shake. 
it is a little runny. And drier tires are gonna suck it right up. But it produces a really nice finish. Not high gloss at all, unless you want to keep applying more and more layers. But it really produces more of a natural finish, almost a matte finish. I think that's the idea is it's supposed to be more of a matte finish but it's but if you keep applying more and more layers of course it will get glossier and glossier now i'm also going to use some optimum car wax on the wheels to gloss them up and protect them i love this stuff for wheels All right, that's looking really nice. As the tire dressing is drying, I'll just kind of keep spreading it and making it look more even. But that's the look you get. It's very natural looking, really nice looking. And now the wheels are super glossy and protected. Awesome. And I used uh, Chemical Guy's Bare Bones on the interior uh, plastics of the wheel well, so they look nice and dark and shined up. All right, so we'll get all these wheels done, and then we'll get back to our Plasti Dip, which is already starting to dry, looking really nice. Well, these are looking really nice. I'm going to put one more thin layer and, uh, and then we'll be done. So the back trim here is really dried out and horrible looking. So we're gonna use lithium trim serum on the back part of the plastic and restore it. Not a big deal if it gets on the paint. Just take a little bit of quick detailer. Wipes right off. No problem. Alright, so we're just going to gently peel away the rest of the tape. Oh, really nice. Good, I don't feel any overspray. It all feels really nice and smooth. Perfect. Very nice. So we're gonna let that gonna let that harden up a little bit more, but I want to remove everything. As far as the tape goes, and be very careful around the edges. 
but Plasti Dip is forgiving. It, it breaks at little edges and creases. Oh, that looks so much better. Really nice. Customer's gonna love this. So we will let that harden up before we put the pins into it, because I don't want to damage anything. I'll double check the paint around here to make sure everything is good. But wheels and tires are done. Looking awesome. Paint is done. It's now lightly, lightly polished and sealed, but very, very slick. Glass is done. Interior, let's see. Yeah, I can still smell smoke. But that's really difficult to remove. You need to either ozone it or put an odor bomb in here or do a thermal fogging. That's really the only way to get rid of cigarette odor. But at least all of the residue is gone. And everything is cleaned up and looking really, really nice. Yeah, looking awesome. Okay, the Challenger is done. It is looking awesome. Now, uh, I'm still letting the little hood pins here dry from the Plasti Dep, but I'm gonna pull it out into the sun in a second to uh, get some outdoor sun shots if I can. Uh, I have a little bit of sun left, but anyway, it's going to look amazing because it's super, super glossy and it's just gonna look stunning outdoors. In the garage here, I got a lot of lights and it looks nice, but once you pull it outdoors and you get some natural light on it, it, it just looks awesome. So let's pull it out and see what it looks like. Thank you guys for joining me in the video. This was a blast, really bringing this thing back to life. It was pretty gross inside and out, and now it's super glossy, nice and clean in the inside, ready to go. Customer is going to love it. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in any of the tools or the products that we used in today's video, check out the links down below or click up there in the corner to the dedicated page on our website that has tools and products. You can click on those pictures, lead you right to Amazon, so you can purchase those products easily. So thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great week.